and welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for coming by again. Today I thought I'd film a video for my cat eye and red, it, red, red, red lip look. Um, a few of you asked if I could do this, I suppose it's what I wear in most blog posts and videos. I always wear a cat eye and a red lip. Um, maybe it's because I've been across the channel recently and getting inspired by the French. But I thought I'd do a little kind of tutorial or step by step. Um, it's definitely going to be me just doing it as I normally do it. I'm not a professional in any way. So please bear with me while I try and do a beauty video where I'm talking. Oh dear. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. And this is what I used Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner, Benefit Roller Lash, or Eye Pencil in Deep Black, The Body Shop Solid Oil Lips, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Savage Rose. Chanel Rouge on Lure Lipstick in 104 Passion for a lip stain in 01. The first thing I do is I take my favourite liquid liner. Um, I'm actually using Rimmel's Exaggerate, which I have used forever, and it is my favourite above every other liner there is. But what I do to get the perfect flick, um, I don't know, hopefully I'll have a good flick day today because sometimes they go a little bit ski wet. But um, I always start on the lid. And then I start, I don't ever start right at the end, I always start kind of just past them, like, say three, like a quarter of the way in. And then I join it up like that, so it looks a little bit like this. And then I just kind of use the side of the brush to fill it in, like so. Which I think once you've done this, it gives you a really kind of good means of getting the flick correct. I then take the end of the brush and then I kind of try and join the flick up with the end of my eyebrows. They're kind of parallel to one another so they kind of run in the same space. But yeah, that's kind of pretty much how I do the flick. So once you've done that and then you've done your other eye, or at least attempted to get them even, I've not done it quite well today, but these things happen. Um, I've then gone for my mascara, which is upside down. So then I just take my mascara, um, obviously this isn't really to do with the flick, but I just do a couple of coats of this. Uh, and then do my liner. Um, I also use a coal in the inside of my waterline because it's just something I've always done, I know a lot of people don't do it, and it's a bit to make my eyes look smaller, but I always tend to do a liner in the inside. Um, probably out of habit, but I think it kind of finishes off, finishes off, finishes off the eye. So, I just slightly pull my eye down, which sounds like the worst thing you could possibly do, and just do it like so. So once you've done both of your eyes, I then do my lips. Um, before I kind of go on to the red lip and all of that, I try to make sure my lips are totally moisturised, not moisturised, but exfoliated and not dry, because there's nothing worse than trying to put a red lip on really cracked lips. Um, I've been using this Body Shop Solid Oil Lips, which is kind of like a Moroccan argan oil style product, which is really, really nourishing and lovely. But I try to do it at the beginning of my makeup, just so, it kind of has time to absorb and not like kind of move any product around. But I've been using that, I thought I'd just mention it because I've already got it on now. The first step of creating a really nice red lip, I tend to use a lip liner. You don't have to do this, um, but because I have quite a bad experience of bleeding lips when it suddenly just leaks into all around my mouth, um, I've been using this quite recently, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. So I try and create like a little arch. at the top of my lip just to kind of work out how to do, how I'm going to do the rest and then let's say here but that's how hard it is to talk when doing lip liner so I'm going to try and not talk otherwise I'm going to really bad lips the next thing I do is pop my lipstick on top I can use a lip brush for this but I'm not too regimented about my lip care um, so I just pop this straight over the top So I couldn't do a lip tutorial or anything like that without including my favourite ever red lip product. Um, obviously 
everyone has a red lipstick, or nearly everyone has a red lipstick in their, in their wardrobe. If you keep them there, that's fine. Everyone has a red lipstick, they can use this kind of tutorial, but when I do my red lips, I always, always, always go to this product, which is the Sephora Lip Stain. And although you don't have to use it on top of lipstick, you can use it on its own, you have to use it with lip liner, but I had to include this because it is amazing, it's so good, and this is basically the product that I use to create the ultimate red lip, so I thought I would show you how I include this too. And that is how I do my classic cat eye and red lip look. Um, obviously I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that, I just kind of wing it. <laughs> I try and give it a go, like that's how I do it every day anyway. Um, so that is it, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And obviously if you'd like to see anything else, any other beauty things or anything else like cooking, please let me know because I'm really trying to get into this and make a bit more of a routine in my videos. So let me know and thank you for watching.